Hello everyone, this is David with DavidClarkPhotoBlog.com. Today we're going to look at the Suburban Disguise 5. Just picked up this bag a couple of days ago, it was about 50 bucks. It's well worth it. Uh, I have a camera kit set up in here, so I'll show you what that looks like. And let's go ahead and get started. First part in the back here, you have a little mesh pocket. You can slip little things in there. I, um, I generally will put like a, a phone or something in here. It's not quite big enough for an iPad. So that's that. On the sides here, you have mesh pockets. So on both sides, you have mesh pockets. And they go pretty deep. You pull it out there, you put a water bottle or something like that. Uh, the top here, you have a handle, which is great. There's a little padding on the handle as well, so that's pretty nice. Uh, as you turn around to the front here, we have the strap, which is it's not as thick as most straps that come with uh, Think Tank products, but it'll, it'll do the trick. The bag is fairly small. I mean, it's not that big, so you don't really need that much padding. So this does work. It is comfortable. I wore, wore it out, and it does work uh, pretty well. So let's look at uh, what's in here. You can look down in there. We can put pins here. You can put business cards there, and you have a little pocket in the back here if you want to put your cell phone or something like that. Also has a little hook here where you can put a pixel pocket to uh, have your SD cards and stuff. You can place them in there. So that's what's in that zipper. Then we open up here and we have Velcro here. So that's nice. Another Velcro strap here. You have your raincoat to put, to, put uh, to secure your bag if it starts raining, things like that. You have a mesh pocket inside here, if you can see that. And then you also have this open little compartment here where you can put, it's pretty deep and it does extend out. You can see there, it does extend out. So you can put, uh, you can probably put, you can put a lot in there if you really, really needed to. Uh, so that's that. Also have, put that back down in there. Also close it up here, seal that off. Then you have your zippers here, YKK zippers. And then this is the inside here. You have a mesh pocket up here where you can put a variety of different things. So a nice little compartment there. It's mesh so you can see through it. So that's good. And let's look at how I have it set up. It's pretty nice. I mean, pretty roomy for the size bag that it is. I have a flash in here. This is a 430EX. I also have also have a 50 millimeter 1.4, as well as a Canon 60D with a Tokina 11 to 7 or 11 to 16. So it fits. It it'll fit pretty much two lenses. Camera with a camera with a lens on it, plus an additional lens and a flash if you want to do it that way. You can also put an additional lens on there without the flash, so you can have two lenses plus the camera with the lens on it. So it's pretty roomy, and I also have a little spot here if I want to put something else in there. So I can slip something else inside there. So all in all, it looks like a really good ca uh, camera bag. It's brand new on the market, so it's well worth it. I would definitely pay the 50 bucks and go out and get it. So that's my quick review of the Think Tank Suburban Disguise 5. You guys have a good one. Take care. Bye.